Hi there. Thanks for joining me. I'm not sure if I've ever really posted a video on YouTube where I've prepped the back of a record for a clock. So I thought I'd share that process with you now as I've just done a couple record clocks recently. Well, the pores part of it. So the first thing I do is I um, get my materials together. I've got my records. I like to use Glad Press and Seal because I like to protect the label. I want my customers to see what kind of record was poured on. And sometimes I get special requests for certain records. So I like to protect it. Um, you would think that the tape itself would protect it, but it actually <laughs> rips off the label when you go to take it off um, at the very end, like after you've resined your piece. So I found this Glad Press and Seal protects the label part, and then I will tape over the label. Prior to doing any of that, I actually look at the record and I look at side one and two and figure out, you know, which side to pour on and which side to keep. These particular records, they're so old and scratched. A friend gave them to me, but um, they had the word Jane written in on the label. So that's the side that I'm going to pour on and then I'm going to protect the other side. You can use any kind of painter's tape. I even have dollar store painter's tape. I really like this green frog tape, the name brand frog tape. It's thicker. I think it's like an inch and a half, which for me, like the less that I have to peel and tape, the better. I also feel like it sticks a lot better too. So I tend to use that on the back of my tiles and I also use it on the, the back of my records. I'll buy like two or three of them at the same time whenever I need to restock. So as I'm laying the tape down, I will slightly overlap them and that's gonna help um, prevent any paint from like seeping in underneath onto the record itself. Because if you're a fluid artist like me, it's, <laughs> it's a messy, messy business. You get paint everywhere and including like on, on the back when you're pouring. So now I'm gonna take my scissors and go along the edge. I always start where, see, you'll see where it is, but I've ta I tape one of the edges so that the, the tape hits the edge of the record. To me that it's just a way to prevent wasted tape because <laughs> it's expensive. So that's where I start, and um, you'll see me speed this up in just a second because I'm, I'm not going to do the whole thing with you. I won't bore you with sitting through that whole process in full length time. I have I did two records in this, sec this session. You're only going to see the one, but both of them together took well over seven minutes just to prep. So that's something that, like, clients, I'm not sure if they think about, they might see the finished product and was like, oh, though well, that doesn't take very much time. But prep work takes a lot of time. Not only are you prepping your substrate, which in this case is a clock, but you have to mix up all of your colors. That can take just a half an hour in itself mixing up the colors. Then you do test pieces, you send them to your clients, see if you're on the right track. It's a lot of work. So the last step here is I take a popsicle stick and just seal around the edges, which prevents paint seepage. So I hope this helps you all and let me know if you have any questions.